While working in the dish room, as the accumulator is moving around, your job is to remove the trays, sort compost and trash, and stack the dishes by size. During a busy time, empty as much of the accumulator as you can so people have room to place their trays. Remove a tray from the accumulator, then separate the compost from the trash and recycling quickly and efficiently. Stack the dishes according to size before moving on to the next tray. It is essential that non-compostable items, such as the white peanut butter cups, go into the trash. During recycling training, you will learn about our green tray program listing what is trash, what is recyclable, and what is compostable. These lists are also posted in the dish room. As you're unloading the accumulator and sorting the dishes, keep an eye on the dish machine. Watch as Grant realizes he has a full cup rack and places it onto the dish machine conveyor belt. The conveyor belt needs to be kept as full as possible to reduce water waste. Pots and pans will be stacked onto a cart in the kitchen by the three-hole sink before they're brought into the dish room. When you're ready to wash them, be sure to load pots and pans into the dish machine according to size. This makes removing them much more efficient. Load the conveyor belt as tightly as you can to reduce water waste. Watch how Steven sorts through the cart and then efficiently loads the conveyor belt without letting it get ahead of him. Before you move to unloading the pots and pans from the dish machine, make sure you have a sanitized cart to load them onto. You will contaminate any clean items if you load them onto the dirty cart they were brought in on. During the unloading process, stack the pots and pans by size on the cart. Wear plastic gloves when unloading anything from the dish machine, and remember that items can be hot when exiting the machine. When you're done unloading the pots and pans from the dish machine, take your well-organized cart to the kitchen where it will be unloaded by the pots and pans person. As you load the dishes into the machine, again, be sure to load according to size. When plates, trays, bowls, and other items are loaded together, it makes unloading and stacking at the other end much more efficient. Watch how Steven stacks the plates in as closely as he can. When the conveyor belt is as full as possible, it helps to minimize water waste. The silverware has been run through the machine once while it is mixed in the flat rack, which rinses it thoroughly. When the rack comes out, the silverware is then sorted by type. Forks, knives, and spoons are separated by kind into the white cones. Be sure the business end of the utensil is facing up. After Grant has sorted all of the silverware from the flat rack, he then brings a rack filled with the sorted utensils to the front of the dish machine and loads it onto the conveyor belt. It will make one trip through in the cones, and then the silverware will be fully sanitized and ready for use. After the silverware is run through the dish machine in the cones, it should be taken out of the machine and let set to air dry. Then it is taken out of the individual cones and placed into the silverware tray. This was your last step. Now the silverware is sanitized and ready to be placed at the cash registers for customer use.